So, I'm going to have my light. Let's see, let's see here. There is my high-tech animated tool right here, my, my, my sun puppet. The sun, I have the light above the ocean, right? The light's coming from the top, right? It's coming down. See that? It's coming from that direction. So we're going to shade one of those powerful the Renaissance words. There's 12 words. That's one of the most powerful. That and overlapping. Oh, placement's big too. In size. All these words. Sun, you shade opposite. Sun, shade opposite. So up here I'm going to shade. I'm going to do it layer upon layer. I start kind of light. Blending it. See this? I just do a layer here. Sun's going to be coming from up here. So look at this. I'll switch. I'll put the shading underneath this fan here. And then we'll just we'll just move our way across. The sun's up here. I'm going to put some shading under the eye. Again, I'm going to, I'll do layers. I just start light. And I'll use my stump later on, my stompy to blend it. Just do layer upon layer. The sun's over. You can twist and turn your paper. I want to shade inside. I start with a light value. Shading dark to light, layer upon layer. I start really light and then dark, dark, dark. Same down here. Take your pencil. Now remember, you have a stompy. You're going to be able to blend it with the stompy. But first, just enjoy the process. See, I get dark down here, underneath, lighter and lighter. This is so fun. This is that, that, that aha moment. Aha! This is when it pops out. I love it. I love it. I'm going to twist and turn my paper. See that? See how we, we start really dark underneath there, right? Really dark, lighter and lighter and lighter under the eye. Noodling and doodling it. Just enjoy the process. A little bit under the jaw there. Do you love it? Love it. I love it. All right. Say, but wait, you know what I want to do? I want to add a belly here. I want to add just, just for the contrast. I want to add this, this four short and circle. Add this belly, and I'll leave the belly. I'll, le I'll leave the belly white, even though technically I should shade that whole belly too. But I'm going to leave that belly. But I will shade around. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to shade it dark here, layer upon layer. It's getting lighter as it comes out, right? Then look at. I'm going to shade under that fan. See that? See a little nook and cranny down here. Look at. I'm going to shade under the fan. See that? Layer upon layer layer upon layer and shade it dark here and it gets lighter as it comes out isn't that fun i'll put, put a whole shadow under the fin here see that shadow i'm loving it just i, I just do layer upon layer see i start light and then you just get it lighter. And then I'll give the whole fin back here. I want to give this whole fin a value. See, that fin is a little bit in the distance. So that value will make it look further away. All right, that looks wonderful. Now, I'm going to continue on. Remember where the light's coming from. Let's use my animated sun puppet. The light's from above the ocean coming down. So wherever you have it, you could have the sun here. It's okay. It's just wherever you position it, be consistent. So I'm going to go ahead and shade a little bit of the nook and crannies of this fin here. Dark here. And it gets lighter. Dark here and it gets lighter as it comes down. Lighter and lighter. Dark above and it gets lighter as it comes down. I love it. Now, I want to put texture. Te we've talked a lot about texture when we did the owl and other 21 draw lessons. Texture gives that surface feel to the drawing. So what I want to do is I'm going to start up here and I want to put, I want to put some scales on the back of my seahorse. This will just make the seahorse look really cool. Also on dragons. Remember we did this on, when we drew the dragon? We put scales on the back of the dragon. And we'll be doing that on the mermaid lesson too. On the wonderful magical mermaid will be putting scales so i'm going to go ahead and i'll draw the scales all the way around here i'm going to twist and turn my paper twist and turn and i'll put just as many as you want isn't that fun detail detail adding bonus ideas to your drawing to make it more brilliant to make it more 
you, right? To make it more of your own style. This is the fun part. This is where you develop your style. You're copying me exactly what I draw, and then you practice that drawing, you build up your confidence, and then the more you draw it, the more you develop your own style, style. All right, I'm gonna work more. I have a whole area down here that needs shading, so I'm gonna twist and turn my paper. I'm gonna use my shield because I don't wanna blend it. I'll put my wrist shield here because I need to shade all this underneath here. Take my pencil. No hurry, take your time. Remember, this is our special time drawing together. When you have your 21 draw session with Mr. Mark, woohoo! Dark, look at lighter, just take your time. No hurry, we'll get it. You can use your finger to blend it. You can use your, your uh, blending stop. So I shade it, I'm gonna keep twisting and turning, a little bit darker. Get lighter as it goes up. Lighter and lighter. I kind of like that, that uh, pencil scribble effect here, but you can smooth it out if you want. You can take your finger, smooth it out, or you can take your stompy. Twisting and turning, adding that shading. You can see how I use my finger right there on the bottom, see this? This is the fun part, enjoy it! You worked hard to get to this point to be able to add this visual frosting. The details and the shading is visual frosting on your drawing, makes your drawing more delicious for your viewer to enjoy. Isn't that looking nice? Do you love it? I love it. I love it. Now, oh, under shadow, you know how much I enjoy. You know how much I enjoy under shadow. So I go right in here nice and dark. See that under shadow where the tail's spinning? Wherever I have an area that's overlapping, part of the tail's in front of the other one, I make it get darker. See that? Darker and darker. It gets lighter. And blend it. Looking wonderful. Shade down here. And you could put more of these scales in here where you want to if you want to go crazy. I love it. Look at it. I'm going through. I just can't stop. I just can't stop adding more, more shading here. Enjoy it, make your drawing look 3D, pop, make it pop out. That's what that shading does. See that? Shade lighter, and bam! There's your drawing, looking 3D, way to go. Remember, uh, I'll sign your work, take pictures of your drawing, uh, you can edit it down, you can crop it so it fits well, you can adjust the contrast right there on your phone. Be sure to share it with your friends, share it your, with your family. Be sure to share it with me. Post it on your social media site, right? Uh, tag me on Facebook or Instagram or uh, all my any of my social media sites. I would love, love to see it. That's one of my favorite, favorite times of the day is when I see your drawings uh, tagged in my post. I just love it. Mark Kessler, sign your name, 21 Draw. Stay creative, stay joyful, keep on exploring that possibility of pencil power on your paper, drawing in 3D with me right here on 21 Draw. I'll see you on the next lesson. Yeah!